Oh, hello there. It's December 1st, and I'm spending it curled up with a fine Italian novel and a good glass of wine. But in a moment of contemplation, I began to wonder, how do other people celebrate Peter Lewis's birthday? What about Peter Lewis Day? A lot of people flying in for that one? Yes, it is. Okay, is the place completely booked up for it? Yes. All right, and do people, again, spend it with their families, or are people really going out clubbing on Peter Lewis Day? Uh, depends. I mean, I get 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. Okay. Do you do anything at all for Peter Lewis's birthday? Not at all. No, and um, is that just this store that doesn't uh, do anything, or is that pretty much any, 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 any of them? Any singular about us store, they don't have any kind of promotion. Um, we do a dinner. Okay, like, Fam family dinner? Or? Yeah, okay. we do a family dinner. Um, we roast a pig. Right. How has Peter Lewis impacted your work? Peter who? Peter Lewis. I don't know Peter Lewis. No. The great choreographer? I haven't done no choreography with him. I haven't done it yet. No? But tell him if he's got, tell him he's got money. He did Grease. He did The Little Mermaid. No, I've never, I never, I, I, I go by music and artists. I go by music and artists. That's my specialty. Happy to give me a call though. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, tell him to give me a call. I'll do, I'll do some choreography with him. I'll do some choreography with him. Okay, cool. We'll enjoy that. Yeah. Not naked though. Not no, naked. no, no, no. He's not, <laughs> he's not that kind of choreographer. Well, tell us, uh, what do you do for uh, Peter Lewis Day? Same thing. How about St. Patty's Day? Same thing. So basically, Peter Lewis Day, a day of drinking. I'm being straight up with you, man. How we celebrate uh, Peter Lewis's birthday? Peter Lewis's birthday? Uh, he's the inventor of the flux capacitor. Do you think it's likely that you would go to the Peter Lewis exhibition here? I don't know what it is. The Peter Lewis exhibition? I, I don't know what it is. Right, and I take it, would that interest you? The fact that you're not familiar with it or not really? I would, I would want to know what it was, and then maybe I would be interested in it. Um, okay, well, I mean, he's a founder of avant-garde erotic art, um, really a, a local artist in the South Beach scene. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be opposed to seeing it. Dr. Lewis said, he who is bored with Miami is bored with life. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't. What about Peter Lewis Day? What do you do for that? Peter Lewis Day? Peter Lewis Day? What the hell is that? <laughs> a big holiday? It's not one that you celebrate down in uh, Coral Gables? Never heard of this. Peter Lewis Day, huh? If you were auditioning for Peter Lewis, what would you do? I would bring him back. I would do some special treasure chest treasure chest plastic moves and I would have them in trivia sinking in quicksand in 30 seconds. All right, show us a little bit. Well, what about Peter Lewis Day? Did they do anything for that? Peter Lewis. Peter Lewis? He yeah. is like, no one has, oh, I'd say, yeah, he's probably like one of the greatest patriots uh, from Nebraska to ever, ever uh, he fought the Great War of Nebraska. I've never been to Nebraska. I actually took school in, in Canada, so. Oh, it was a crucial, it was an absolutely crucial battle actually in the Korean War. Okay. Yeah, but, um, and many people, a lot of military historians actually credit him for uh, a decisive victory, especially in Lincoln. Okay. Uh, people actually think that Lincoln could have uh, fallen to the North Koreans if it wasn't for Peter Lewis. Interesting. Yeah. So what do you do also then for, for Peter Lewis Day? There's a What's traditional... Peter Lewis Day? What's Peter Lewis Day? Traditional, I mean, that's a traditional holiday, especially up north. You got Morris men who are usually doing something for Peter Lewis Day. People are cooking I piggy pudding. I didn't know Peter Lewis Day at all. Really? No. N not at all. Not at all. No single individual, bar no. except for Shakespeare, has contributed more to the English language than Peter Lewis. Okay, I don't know this day at all. That's my ignorance. I don't wow. think many people would. Well, I don't know. It's kind of up there, like with Pancake Day and Burns uh, Burns Night. You Burns know? Night. Yeah, I know Burns Night. So okay, so you know Burns Night. Yes. Pancake Day, you kind of cook pancakes. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't Shred do any... Shred Tuesday. That's true. Well, yeah, okay. So, um, but nothing for, for Peter Lewis Day. No, nothing for Peter Lewis Day. So nothing no... really for St. George's Day either, actually. Wow. No one really celebrates it. Yeah, and St. George's Day is, again, another traditional English yeah. holiday. No one really celebrates it. So, so you're not waving flags uh, on St. George's Day either? Do you think they should be celebrating Peter Lewis Day? Um, 
Not really, I don't know. I mean, we only, otherwise we celebrate everything. The English celebrate football. That's well, yeah, we I know. Football, rugby, that's the biggest celebrations. So, are you saying that World Cup has more people celebrating than Peter Lewis Day? Yes, definitely, definitely. That's, that's frightening. That's just, so what do you think about like bringing back traditional English holidays like St. George Day and Peter Lewis Day? Um, I don't know. I'm a bit of a pessimist. You can, I mean, when, when you do celebrate everything, yeah. I mean, I think, I think, you know, we celebrate enough and I don't think you, otherwise you just go from one thing to another. I mean, people really aren't interested. People are interested in St. Patrick's Day because you drink Guinness and I think if, if it's got an alcohol attachment in the UK, then generally it goes down well. So basically they need to have a lot more drinking to get people into Peter <laughs> Lewis Day. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Do you do anything for Peter Lewis's birthday? No. In Italy, how do people celebrate Peter Lewis Day in Italy? Skiing, mountain, but fast day. People generally go skiing for Peter Lewis's birthday? Yeah. Okay. That is traditional Italian custom. Um, yes. See? Yes. Oh, thank you. Grazie. Prego. <laughs> do you do anything for Peter Lewis's birthday? No, I wouldn't even know who Peter Lewis is. You don't know who Peter Lewis is no. at all? He, he uh, was the inventor of the flux capacitor, holding on time travel. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's the first guy. It's like, you know, he actually traveled from 1966 to 2006, and it only took him 40 years to do it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that would be like everybody. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> So, would you say that like life is this great quest for knowledge and that when you actually understand about Peter Lewis and, and Peter Lewis Day... Then I'll, you, I'll know everything. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of people actually say that that is the apex of, of all knowledge. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I, I definitely need to um, go do some research on this. I see. Mm -hmm. When uh, is Peter Lewis Day? I should totally it, celebrate it with a giant goat. It is actually a today. Black goat. Did you know that Peter Lewis Day is well, today? Well, then I have to go out and get me a black goat now, don't I? Now, is Peter Lewis Day a really big holiday here in South Beach? Yeah? Very big holiday. So what do people generally do for it? As usual, <laughs> I mean, this is like a playground, you know what I mean? South Beach is like a playground. It's, people just have a good time. So the people who really celebrate Peter Lewis, they tend to flock to South Beach and this is this is the place to be this? for Peter Lewis's birthday. Yeah, this, this is the place to be. I'm okay. A lot of people get, you know, crazy and start drinking on, on well, uh, Peter Lewis's birthday. Well, drinking crazy, but it's safe, so it's safe. I mean, uh, people having a good time, you know, a good time, no matter what. I mean. So nobody's getting too rowdy or too out, out of hand? No, no. Nobody gets rowdy and out of hand. Because I know in New Orleans there was a problem about complete drunken debauchery on Peter Lewis Day. Is that a problem here in South Beach? No, not at all. So for Peter Lewis's Day, do you have? Do people generally have a lot of chocolate? Yes, chocolates and sweets. And that's how it's celebrated in Peru. Yes. Okay. Do you do anything for Peter Lewis's birthday? Um. And uh, what about Peter Lewis Day? What do you do for that? Peter Lewis Day. Do you not, do you like fly home and let your family fly in for that, or what do you? Is it more of a family holiday? Do you think? It's everything. Family holiday. It's it's all kinds of people, you know. Okay. But I mean, if you bring your family, you have a good time with family. If you're single, you have a good time being a single. It, it's role for everybody, you know. I don't know about you, but I feel I've learned a lot about Peter Lewis's birthday. For some, it's a time of contemplation and family. For others, it's an opportunity for complete inebriation involving a black goat. But no matter how one celebrates Peter Lewis's birthday, it brings people of many different cultures together as one. Thank you, good night, and drive safely.